Hello, my beautiful Gemini Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your July 1st through 15th, 2022 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective reading for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's see what's going on. Oh, hey, we got the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles is the Garden of Eden energy where you are in the energy of continuously fulfilling your ability to connect to source and believe that you are being brought to the place where you need to be through the divine compensation energy. This is where you believe that the universe is conspiring in your favor and that it provides exactly what you need, exactly when you need it every single time. And so it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now you have the Queen of Wands, which is action energy, being very strong in the ability to create its fertility. And it means a new beginning, either in a new job or a position of power. It can also mean starting your own business. So Feminine energy is always that new fertility of something new happening. So it doesn't have to be something that, like, you don't have to be opening a business. It could be a new venture that you're taking in the business. So, here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit. The death card is the Scorpio major arcana. It means clearing the slate. Purging, cleansing, and restarting with a fresh new beginning. This beautiful flower is the energy of that new start. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Devon. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, having the energy of that cosmic garbage man, what I call in the Scorpio Major Arcana, the death card, is a brand new, fresh, clean slate. So, it is a new start at something, and this is the Hierophant. So, that is uh, someone in a large group accepting you in. So, whether it's an... Uh, and uh, something like a, a hospital or a large corporation or an organization. It can even be a university, something that you have uh, applied for or something that requires you to go through a process. You are now being welcomed in. This is the welcome wagon. The Hierophant is showing up saying, thank you for joining our energy. We would like to have you here. Lightning strike. So out of the blue, it's going to come pretty quickly. And the energy of this is also like a divine download for some people. When they get the divine knowledge, it just shows up and all of a sudden, you know. Moving in the right direction is also very, very solid. The Six of Swords, you have the skills and abilities that are needed for you to make this move. You're launching forward, leaving the negativity of the past behind. And this beautiful energy of the moon is guiding your path forward as it lights your way, showing you how to get there, even if you don't know the way. Stay focused. This is the energy of being in your rhythm, in your flow. The momentum is going. Don't let the chaos of circumstances that don't have anything to do with you, usually people you know, try to interfere uh, unintentionally or intentionally. They may they may throw, a, you know, say, throw me a life raft. I, I'm over here drowning and floundering. Well, you can tell them what they should do, but don't turn your head. Keep your flow going. They They have to deal with it on their own. So... The Knight of Pentacles, very fast moving money coming towards you. You've got two knights so far showing up. And this is the energy of the, the money's already been allotted. It, it, it's set in motion. It's heading your way. Nine of Cups, super happy energy. This is your heart's desire being told yes by the universe. So being granted this wonderful energy of celebration and victory, contentment, happiness, satisfaction, and joy. We love the Nine of Cups. And the Seven of Wands telling you to hold your ground, stand fast, don't let anybody deter you from what your path is. Everybody's got opinions and everybody is, you know, trying to be 
uh, you know, they call themselves being helpful, but sometimes they'll throw some salt on you just cause, right? <laughs> so just stand your ground and keep your, keep your mission in your mind. You have options here, so there is an opportunity coming in for you to choose an option. These are both running parallel, so there's really no wrong option. They're very close to the same end because they just keep running side by side. So choose what you wish or what your heart feels. Don't allow anybody else to uh, pull you off of what your choices are. You have the Knight of Cups, which is an offer coming in, which means that they're extending their goodwill or they're, you know, it's a real confirmation that they are wanting good things. Uh, that's three nights so far, my darling Geminis. That means it's moving really quickly. And the Seven of Pentacles is showing whatever you've been investing your time and energy into or what you will be investing your time and energy into will bear fruit. This is the fruit is on the vine. It's ripening as we speak. It can't be harvested just yet, but it's almost there. And looky who shows up. Your Gemini Major Arcana, the lovers. So here's your strength, your empowered energy, and you are fully activated here to do this beautiful energy of moving forward and receiving all of this wonderful abundance because you are solid in the energy of the lovers. That is your major arcana. Now, we have the Ace of Swords, which is a victory. It's also clarity and focus, so you're cutting through the veil. The beautiful victory wreath is here. This is a gift from Divine of giving you the ability to now see where you're heading and make decisions based on that. So it is a victory for that. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Scorpio Major Arcana of the Death card showing up again, clearing the slate, all toxic energy is being removed and released. So allow that garbage man to take out all that trash and, and be ready for a fresh new start, because that's what this means, death to the old way. And a notification, the page of rods. So whatever this fast flash is, it's usually them reaching out when it comes to this little page. He's giving you instructions on what to do next as you move forward. And the beautiful queen of rods again. That's the new venture. You know, that is the energy of something new coming in. So we love that. And the queen of swords. This would be acing the job interview or being able to really commute. That's why you want to stay in the flow here and not get distracted. Because your focus is what causes them to see your value. And this is the Gemini Queen, Queen of Swords. She's not fooling around. We have a Four of Cups energy, which is the offer of something wonderful. This means something is coming in very, very quickly that allows you to really make a, a wonderful advantage of this. This is Remember, the Four of Cups is a blessing in a brown paper bag. And sometimes we can dismiss it because it doesn't look so important. Um, don't say no to anything until you fully check it out. The King of Swords, Archangel Michael. Very solid energy of assisting. Plus, it's your Gemini King. The air sign king. It means now you're in the energy of the masculine, which means fully developed, and that is the energy, so something fully formed and actionable, as well as the Archangel Michael, the protection of that. It's right on top of that nine of cups, which means you're in the energy of being fully, fully actualized and realized, and now you're in the celebration of, oh my God, it's really happening. And the Ace of Swords again, which is now showing you get the clarity you need. So don't let the other people confuse you or cause chaos. You know where you're going. Stay focused and keep moving. We have the World, which is a brand new beginning. We love this energy because it allows you to move forward. And a brand new start from a whole new level. So this energy of dancing through the, the portal created by Divine. And the Chariot. 
So it is a very sweet victory because this is the energy of celebratory, feeling very much uplifted and upgraded. It's a very fast energy. It also means being seen in the limelight or being known as the Hollywood card, so having a lot of notoriety attached to it. And the Empress. So the Empress is about creation. So the Seven of Pentacles is perfect. It means the new fruit on the vine is about to be ready for harvest. So she's the nurturing energy it needs. And holy cow, there's the Wheel of Fortune. So get ready. All karmic holds are released. All doors open. Even doors you didn't know existed appear and open to you. And all obstacles fall to dust at your feet. So this Wheel of Fortune will send you really moving quickly. And you know you're moving quickly because you already have all these knights out here. And they're, they're talking about fast-paced energy. So hang on to your britches, my Gemini friends. You're about to get launched. <laughs> launched right into your future. So it looks beautiful. You have a lot of wonderful energies coming through. And your ability to really be yourself and be authentic is absolutely on the table here. So I send you lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace, happiness, joy, abundance, and prosperity to you all. Divine healing and all good things. I will see you again in the middle of July. Namaste, my friends.